Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is George, and this is SaaS Master. Today, we're going to check out Listagram, which is a widget that you can embed on your site to have a more fun and easy way to capture emails, giving them the opportunity to win a coupon, a prize, or no prize at all. So what it does, it gives you the ability to embed a wheel of fortune on your site. So let me show you what that looks like because I embedded it on this site. And this is how it's going to be greeted with. Obviously, I used a really bad logo for this, but it just gives you an example of what you can embed on this. Now, this is the Wheel of Fortune right now, and to actually spin it, I need to use an email. So that's the way that it, it makes it more fun and interactive. So I'll just put any email right here, and I'll click Spin the Wheel. Now, something that I noticed that I think is bad is that it should have a way to verify if it's a good email or not. I hope it, it like integrates with another plugin or uh, SaaS out there that will actually verify the email. All right, so I got a 20% off discount coupon code right here, and this is the one I can use. So that's what this does, all right? So let's head on over to the actual plan of what you're gonna get. So starting at $29 for a lifetime deal, that means you pay once and you can use it forever, it gives you 50,000 wheel views. So that means they're, they're gonna refresh every month and you get 50,000 monthly views. Maybe that's a whole lot if you don't have a lot of views on your sites. And the other good part about this is that it only it's only gonna count when it actually pops up. So if it doesn't pop up, it's not gonna count as a view. So you can actually tell the Wheel of Fortune from Listagram to pop up only on uh, the blog site or only on my sales page or only on exit intent. So you can make it not to pop up every single time. So that's pretty cool because that's gonna give you more chances of using this Wheel of Fortune on other sites because it's not gonna limit you on any other site. And the other cool part is the removable branding. All right, something that I wanna show you before we head on over to the dashboard is this is coming really soon. So we're February 12th and on the 16th, they say it's gonna come, Zapier's coming, Gist is coming, and Integromat. So right now you can use webhooks, but it's not a direct integration with Zapier. So that is coming. And on March 2020, support for custom fields is also coming. So you can ask for a phone number, etc., or whatever you want. Let's head on over to the actual dashboard of Listagram. And by the way, the deal will be in the description. So the link will be there. So head on over there and grab it. Okay, so let's create a brand new Wheel of Fortune. So let's create a brand new one. And we're going to get the options to select a theme that's coming up right now. Let's wait for that to load. All right, so this is where we're gonna get the create a wheel of fortune and these are the things that we can select. So let's name this one right here and we'll just say anything right here. There's some a couple of available languages that you can select. So these are available as of now. They should be adding more, I guess. And these are the themes that are available. So we can click on any one of these that we want. We can customize the colors also, but maybe you just like what you see right now. So I like this little Christmas one. All right, let's create this Wheel of Fortune. And once you create it, the first thing that we're going to be greeted with is how we're going to distrib distribute those pie slices from that Wheel of Fortune. So right off the bat, you get these options that are already filled out, but you can modify these. Obviously, when you're giving out a coupon code, you have to first create it on your site, right? So it's not a fake coupon code. It's actually going to work. So you got the type right here, which is coupon code, free product, or no price at all. Once you have that, you got the label that you could put right here. So this coupon code gives you 10%, and this is the value of what it's going to give you. So you saw in the example that we got the 20% off discount code. So it's this one right here. Now, what the percentages mean is the chances that this coupon code is going to pop up or like you're going to win this. It could even go as decimals. So you could, for example, if you put one, it would be one out of a million. So that's a pretty hard chances of winning it, but that's available. So you can use decimals or the percentages. So maybe like a 10% coupon code, you would put like, I don't know. 50% and you would put no price at 30% and just so on and so forth. And for example, a 30% discount code would only pop up by 5%. So you give, it's not so easy for them to win the big price. Or if you're giving out a big price and you put one out of 100,000 or something like that, if you're giving out something really good. So you can set that up right here and you have to set it up in a way that it gives you a total of 100%. 
Now, something that I don't like is that you can't modify how many pie charts you want to divide this in. So the amount of pies that is divided that wheel of fortune is that what you got to use. So it's not modifiable. Once you have that set up, you head on over to obviously preview. You can you can check out how it's going to look. So this is how it's going to look. You can see that right there. You can remove the branding also. Remember, you got settings. In settings, you can enable it. You can you can set up the desktop settings. So you can set up the device. You can set up the Wheel of Fortune to pop up only on desktop or both mobile and desktop. You can display it on Leave Intent and desktop. <clears throat> My bad. Or you can remove it. Display only even 10 also on mobile. Um, pop up after 20 seconds or pop up after 20 seconds. That means it's when the when the person is more than 20 seconds on your side, it's gonna pop up. So like I said, we got the 50,000 view counts on $29. And if it doesn't pop up, it won't count you as a view. So that's pretty cool. Now you can set this up to be one second, zero seconds, um, I don't know, one minute, and it will pop up. Uh, lifetime cookie, this means it won't show to the same users for the days that you set. So a user who already spent it won't show that Wheel of Fortune until 30 days or whatever days you set. You can set the temporary cookie lifetime also and save settings. You can enable GDRP for all those Europe who are worried about the Europe um, laws. <laughs> footer settings, enable footer coupon reminder if you want. You can change the logo. Remember I put that logo, that really bad logo that I put. You can change that there, small logo. Theme settings, if you want to use another theme setting or you want to customize it. So you can edit this theme if you want. Let's click on that. And we got all these options to edit, right? So you got the wheel. You can edit the wheel, you can edit the background, right section, and all that good stuff. Let me go back. You even have custom CSS. All right, you can add an integration. You got to add it from the integrations. We'll see that in a bit. Uh, cookie domains for advanced settings. Z index, rename the wheel. So I, I called it that. You can change that. Clone the wheel if you want to use one that you already use. So once you've set that up, you can't enable it until you embed the code. So the code for embedding is here in installation and that installation embed code you have to put it on your site so it knows that it's going to pull the information from listagram in my case i'm using wordpress and i'm using divi so i have the option in divi and integrations so i can put it here in the body but if you're using another theme that doesn't include a way to, to put a code you can install the plugin from Listogram and use that. I really don't recommend you use Listogram's plugin, but because all it does is actually put the code on your site. So that's one more plugin that you have to install. The other option would be to install a plugin that's called header and footer, and you can put it there. Plus you have the option to keep adding more later on. So you got three options, or if you're using an HTML site or a other SAS, you can just put the code on the HTML file. So those are the ways that you can integrate. So once you integrate that, you can enable it. But after doing that, you got to head on over to Earl and tell it where do you want this to pop up? So you got include Earl's. So I can say exact contains, not contains, matches, regis, or starts with. So an exact match would be, hey, you know what? I want it to, so for example, this is my site. I head on over to my site. And you say, hey, you know what? I don't want it to show on my main site. I want to head over to blog and I want it to only show on this specific site. So it's going to be an exact match for this one. Or I could put starts with. So it's if it starts with and they open any other blog, it's going to pop up. And if I save it, it's going to grab that and it's added. So it won't show on any, any other site but this one. You can put the main domain and just show it everywhere and you can exclude sites. So for example, I included everything from blog and, and forth, right? Because it says starts with, but maybe I want to exclude two blogs, a single blog. I can add that URL there. So it's pretty easy and straightforward. Next thing you have is the text right here. So you can select the language again. If you haven't selected it, you can translate text. So maybe the language that you don't have is available now. You can translate it. So like I said, it's an easy way to integrate something fun to capture emails with Listogram. The integrations that are available right now are these right here. So you got some pretty popular ones. 
But as you can see, Zapier is not yet here, but they say they will add it really quick as we saw right now. But you got webhooks. With webhooks, obviously you can use, use it with Zapier and you can use it with other apps that have a webhook or you can use it with Integromat also from webhook. But they will be adding it really soon with other options available. So like I said, it's pretty cool. Let me just show you again the, the Wheel of Fortune. It's pretty cool that you have this available and it makes it fun and easy. You say you see I have the logo here and I have the logo over here. I haven't turned off the, the, the branding, but it's possible. But you can see there that it's way funner than just showing a plain text and put your email here. Plus you give them the opportunity to show a, a coupon code. Maybe you already have a coupon code pop up somewhere else. Maybe this is more better than what you're doing right now. Now, something I saw they're also going to add is that I saw they're going to add giveaways. Where did I see that right now? Hold on. Oh, here it is. They're going to add viral contest feature. So that will be coming. So like I said, for a measly $20, $29, you get the 50,000 views and you get the option to use it for a lifetime. I think it's definitely worth it. It's not because I'm trying to sell you something. I just think it's a fun and easy way to capture emails. And you give coupons, that means it can translate to sales, plus you capture that email. The only downside I see and I don't like about it is that you can't verify the emails as of now. I'm not sure, is there any integration here about that? Not that I know of, none of these are an integration to actually verify that email. Because I mean, just like you saw in my example, I put whatever email there and I can use the Wheel of Fortune. So that's a really, really bad point that I see on Listogram. But if they fix that, if they add an integration or a direct verifier, that would be super awesome for, for them to add it. So though, that's the downside I see. But for now, I think $29 is worth it. You can buy it. And if you need more views, then you got these other options. Like I said, the link will be in the description. I thank you guys for watching. If you guys can let me know what you think about this deal and the videos I'm making, it will be really super helpful. If whatever you need is missing from my videos, I would like to make them even better. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master.